So tonight I want to talk to you about how do you know that you're behaving unconsciously? How do you know you're blind to yourself? How do you know that you're under the grips of a repetition and that you are behaving unconsciously? Because all your thoughts and feelings feel real and they are real. So what is the difference between reality where you perceive that somebody's treating you a certain way and you have a reaction to it versus behaving unconsciously where you're distorting things and exaggerated and probably on the wrong track and creating a self-fulfilling prophecy? Well, the way to know the difference is by using your own emotions to gauge the intensity of your reaction. So for example, if you are like fiercely determined to convince everybody that you've been mistreated and a stranger across the street comes and says, I don't think you've been that mistreated and you have a violent reaction to that stranger, like who, who gives a hoot what this stranger thinks of you, but you're having this violent reaction to it, chances are there's something going on unconsciously there that something you don't want to admit into consciousness. Uh, similarly, if you're confused and self-doubting yourself all the time, you don't know if you've been mistreated or neglected, mm, sure sign there's some unconscious stuff going in there that you, you can feel that you're in the dark or you can feel that you're defensive or you're looking at your life and wondering about things like, do I have a problem with love? Do I have a problem with success? So those are all signals that your mind is giving you that there's something unconscious there. And when you open up to studying while you're in some kind of a brain rut with maybe not fully correct predictions, not fully correct analysis of what's going on or interpretation or there's something there, then yeah, why not look at that and have your possibilities open up for a different way of being and thinking because that's what happens when you start to study your brain. And all you have to do is ask why. Why am I thinking this way? And you challenge the autonomic thought processes, which is all your unconscious is, is what's automatic, what you can't see your brain is doing. And then you start to see it and possibilities open up. And that's a whole lot of fun.